it's another night where I can't sleep, which I actually came home and went to sleep pretty early. I was tired. Anyway, I drew this up real quick. Just a quick little drawing. So there it is. Some, I can't remember who it was. They were asking about my uh, stand. It's called a standby heat exchanger or hot water heater exchange heat exchanger here it goes I'm gonna zoom in a little bit all right okay that right there is coming from your boiler and it goes down and it goes back to your boiler okay and it's just a closed loop I hope everybody understands that the boiler water never mixes in with your hot water heater that you use for your drinking water and that stuff. So this is a closed loop. Closed loop. Alright. So we understand that part, correct? Now, here, oh, let's start from right down here. Here I put a check valve. This is your water source from the CDU, from your well, from wherever you're getting your water from. It comes in right here, and there's another check valve right there going this direction. So, it's going to go in here, and the reason why, yeah, let me make a point here. I want to force, you know, heat rises. So I'm coming in with my hot water from my bowl or from the top and forcing it down. Okay, that way it stays hot all the way down. I don't know if it's a big deal or not, but that's the way I'm doing it. Just that, that's logic to me. Anyway, let's get back to the city water. You go in, it goes across here. It'll do, 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 do. It'll go across. And then this is where you used to tap in with your city water. The cold side, the pipe actually goes to the bottom. And again, there's a reason for that, right? Uh, again, you know, the cold water goes to the bottom because heat rises. And this pipe here goes into your house. To your home so the one that's going into your home already nothing changes there all right the cycle of how the water is heated of course is the water that's in here is going to get hotter because this is where your drain used to be that's where I tapped into mine so I took the drain valve out here put a nipple Put a T and put my drain valve right here. So there's your drain. Right past that, there's a check valve. Somebody made a comment saying that I didn't need this check valve. Hmm. Probably true. Uh, but. You know, what was it, six bucks for that check valve? No, maybe three bucks. Heck, I can't remember. I bought so much stuff, I don't know. Irregardless, just for reassurance, again, pressure. I don't know how much pressure the hot water heater, when water gets hot, it creates pressure. I didn't want that pressure to override the pressure from the city. You know, I might be wrong there, but again... That's reassurance that the water is not going to back on up through here. I want the water to cycle through here no matter what. And that just makes me feel better. Whether it's necessary or not, I don't know. I don't know the answer to that without doing some pressure test, tests and all that stuff. Instead of going through all that trouble, you buy one of those, you put it there, and it's done. That's a fact. And then this is just your stand, you know, standard water heater. You know, you got your little coal, your um, uh, what am I 
saying here? The heater element, of course, will be your 220 heater element installed somewhere, wherever there it is in your hot water heater, or it could be a gas furnace, a gas heater. Don't matter. You just tap into this part right here. So there it is. I hope uh, that makes sense. It makes sense to me, you know, but I ain't the smartest cat in the world either, so anyway. I'm going to zoom out. Zoom in to the top. To your home. Boom. Some people move a little too fast. I've noticed on videos. It's like, man, I guess I need to slow down a little bit. But there it is. Hopefully that helps people out. Uh, that's I've never yet have yet to see a video like that on anywhere on the internet. I spent hours looking for this stuff. Well, by God, there it is. That's it for now. I think I'm gonna go to work now. It's two o'clock in the morning. I can't sleep.